Hello everybody, this is Faith from Firesign Tarot. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Couple brief announcements, little babble before I get started. Um, March 31st, Neon and I will be doing a special live for um, the beginning of the Zodiac year as Aries starts on March 20th. So we're just going to go through finally do a special New Year's Live. I know I've been talking about it for two months, but schedules kept getting crossed and my energy level was extremely low as it gets during the winter because I just, I struggle with um, seasonal affective disorder. So it's unfortunate. I try not to let it get me down too bad, but I suffer the winter blues. I probably should not be living in Northern Michigan because winter just sucks the life right out of me. I'm I'm a spring, summer, fall kind of kid. So, yeah. Anywho. Um, anyway, we're going to throw down some cards for Aries today for your Julian New Year reading. You're asking what the hell's a Julian New Year. Well, back in about the 1500s, um, we as a world society switched over to the Gregorian calendar. So, New Year's being January, Capricorn season, middle of winter. Yeah, you know, <laughs> why would we start a new year out during the dark times? I don't understand, but I'm not the Catholic Church, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, the Zodiac year starts at the beginning of Aries, which is the 20th of March. So not going to delve too deep into the history lesson today. We're just going to throw down some cards for Aries. Okay. This reading will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you. Cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. And if it's not your message, throw the reading out altogether. Check your Moon, Rising, your Venus signs. Again, it's your journey. Do what you want. I just read the cards, kids. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. And play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher, and you guys are welcome here, too. Come on in, have a seat. Everybody's always welcome at Big Mama Sag's table. Okay. Three more shuffles for Aries, and we're going to get started. I had to refill my coffee. Okay, we're going to turn you so you can see your cards come out. I'm still working with this, so. Okay. Theme of your reading. Huh. Three of Cups, Upright, Two of Pentacles, Reversed. Well. Some of you may be contemplating a reunion with an old friend. Or possibly no longer wanting to juggle a third-party situation. This is interesting. Okay. What were you supposed to take out of last year? Five of Cups. I think some of you didn't quite have a good year last year. Some of you may have been in a huge state of sadness. 
I think last year you were supposed to stop looking down at the three spilled cups and remember your blessings. What was your shining moment? Page of Cups. Okay. That's handing someone a cup. Could have been an apology, could have been an olive branch. Little doses, teaspoons. Okay. What did you let go of last year? Oh, two cups reversed. Some of you may have had to let go of an old connection or the fact that something just didn't work out. And of course, we will get clarity. What should you expect this year? Knight of Swords. Somebody could possibly be coming back in. It's communication. You could be looking... Watching someone, someone could be watching you. I'm sensing more communication. What's the challenge going to be? Six of Wands. Oh, that's open ended. That's a return. victory. The five of wands is the battle. The six of wands is the victory after the battle. I'm sensing a return coming your way. It's retrograde. <laughs> we got two more of them after the one we're in right now. So just so you're aware, I don't recommend going forth with a return during a retrograde season. I just don't. How do you overcome your challenge? Emperor. Take control. Okay. This is a man with the world in his hands. This is a man who's been through the fire. Man, woman, the sex of the card isn't important. It also represents you. So, Aries, this is you finally coming back into your element. And that's how you overcome the challenge. Taking control. Living your journey your way. But this is a transition period. So what do you need to focus on during your transition? Nine of Wands. Ooh. You still have walls up. You've been through it. Apparently, in the past, you went through a pretty nasty breakup. There was great sadness. This could even go back to, like, 2017.
doesn't necessarily have to be all from 2018, 2019. I mean, go back as far as you want. But I definitely sent someone returning after a breakup. After a disconnect. How do you handle this transition? Two of swords. Excellent. Okay. Take the damn blindfold off. Blindfold, the rose-colored glasses. Open your eyes. A painful decision may have to be made. And it may involve... Building walls where you need to build walls and tearing down walls where you need to tear down walls. All right, we're going to set this aside till the end. We pull your advice. Leave that be. Oh, what are we going to clarify with today? I really don't want to dig into the box. Illuminati. I think we're going to use the Tarot Illuminati. It's still a fresh deck. I've only used it for like one other reading, so... Universe, can I get some clarity for Aries, please, for their Julian New Year reading? Still stiff. We're finding the Three of Cups. Oh my gosh. A Three of Cups clarifying a Three of Cups. Well, gee. <laughs> Aries. And a Four of Cups clarifying a reversed Two of Pentacles. Okay. So, the universe may well be trying to hand you a reunion, a coming back together, or a third party situation, however you want to look at it. If you're with someone and you're thinking about someone else, Well, that's your journey. I don't judge people. Wow. Okay, so... Why is the Four of Cups here for Aries? For what they were supposed to take out of last year. One card, please. Thank you. Queen of Wands. Could be another fire sign person. Could very well be. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be someone very you're connected to very spiritually. She's very spiritual. She's very passionate at the same time. 
She's very fiery. She don't take crap from nobody. I have to decline a call. Hate it when people blow up my phone. When I'm trying to read my cards. Why is the page of cups here? Why is the page of cups here for Aries shining moment from 2019? Five of cups reversed. Fell down reversed. This may have been the moment when you realized you kicked your own cups over. I'm, I'm getting a sense that this was an olive branch. Uh, a random bumping in. And you had that moment of, oh gosh, it's too late. The person you were dealing with may have already moved on to somebody else. And you found out, okay, I need to come out of this state of sadness because I did this to myself. That's, that's what I'm getting out of that. Why is the Two of Cups here reversed for what you needed to let go of, Aries? Universe, why is this Two of Cups reversed here for Aries? Why is Two of Cups... Okay, I'll take two. Two want to come flying out, I'll take them. That's fine. The Nine of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles reversed, yeah. It didn't fruit. You had to let go of this person because it just didn't fruit and your walls went up. I think these moments collided. War, is that a fire sign card? Wow. Another Sagittarius card, by the way. P possibly a Sag you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be, though. I have earth. I have water. I have, I have everybody. The only major I have is you. So, keep that in mind. Ran out of time. It wasn't the right time. It didn't fruit. Alright, what... Why is the Nine of Swords... Or the Knight of Swords here? For what Aries can expect this year. When the universe does this, I do. I, you're watching me shuffle. You are watching me shuffle these cards. You are watching these cards come out. Somebody's gonna talk. <laughs> a Prince of Swords, clarifying a Knight of Swords, the print, well, yeah, depending on what deck, they're the same card. 
somebody's going to communicate. Somebody's going to come in, possibly very quickly and very unexpectedly. You may very well be being watched. Can I get one more on that, please? One more. One more. Okay. I dropped you guys. No. <laughs> okay, you want to talk. Fine. Nine of Cups. Somebody's coming back in to fill your cups up. That's awesome. Okay. Why is the Six of Wands here? Why is the Six of Wands here for the challenge? You want to talk. Princess of Wands. Page of Wands. More fire energy. Okay, so... Eight of Swords, yep. Someone very well could be making a return. Might be a hookup offer. Just saying. Could just be a cup of coffee. It's a page, it's communication, it's an offer, it's an olive branch, it's fire sign person. Very good. Could be could be an air sign person. Maybe the eight of swords here, but you're gonna get all wrapped up in it. That's gonna be the challenge. The return could potentially constipate your thoughts and constipate you emotionally. And kind of send you into a whirlwind a little bit maybe of, okay, why now? Why now? I'm not going to clarify this, Emperor. Because I think you taking control back... And being in your element is how you will overcome this challenge. Why is the Nine of Wands here for the transition? What you need to focus on during a transition period? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Ace of Pentacles reversed. One more. I'm hearing keep your walls up and don't water a dead house plant. Star reversed. The necessary healing has not taken place yet. You haven't healed from this. Or they haven't healed from it. Take it however it resonates. Why is the Two of Swords here for how to handle this transition? Princess of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Open your eyes. Take off the blindfold. Make sure the offer that they're coming in with is solid. 
that it's real. Empress reversed. Don't chase. Don't chase. Your advice, Knight of Cups, King of Swords. Think about that offer before you do anything. Make a non-emotional decision. When we get hurt, we make emotional decisions. Don't do that. When this offer comes in, Just think about it. Think long, think hard. King of Swords reversed, yes. And the Nine of Pentacles. How do I put this? How do I put this politely? You need to be independent of yourself. Don't make an emotional decision here. You make an emotional decision you're going to compromise everything you've worked for. So you need to be in charge of your own destiny. Be in charge of your own free will. Be the conductor of your train. That's all I have to say about that. Aries, I love you guys. You guys are wonderful. Your season's coming up next. That's exciting. Oh, I love Aries season. And here's why. Because it's spring. And I get my energy back. I get my fire back. And that's a beautiful thing. My fire sign brothers and sisters, I love you guys so much. You guys have been so supportive. And I am so grateful for all the Aries people in my life. Thank you so much. Love you guys to bits. Thanks for watching. If you feel so compelled, hit the like button. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. But it helps us out here a lot. And thank you so much for a great first year here at Fire Centero Because that anniversary is coming up on Thursday. Anywho, I'm going to check out. Peace and love. Namaste. Be blessed. And we'll catch you guys in your next reading. Bye.